Hello there, and welcome to another LEGO review at Go TKO Show. Today, for the first time, we've gotten a hold of a brand new set that's just released today. I know some people get them early, but we got it on the first day. It's officially released. It's set 75324, the Dark Trooper Attack, which I think has the wrong name, which I'll try to discuss again later. It's got 166 pieces and has four minifigures. Now three of those minifigures are the same. You'll get the Dark Trooper figure there, which is pretty cool. He originally came only in the Light Cruiser set, which had one of them for $160, I believe. This one has three, and yeah, there's two more. He has the red glowing eyes, which come from underneath. The printed head has red on it. The helmet then creates the effect. He has a shoulder piece, which makes him taller than a normal minifigure. And the very good prints on the torso and the legs. And then a gun that's built up a little bit. The real star of the show to me here is brand new Luke Skywalker minifigure. Full-on Jedi Luke in his black robes with his lightsaber. The green lightsaber, which we'll show shortly. He has the new hood piece, which some people don't care for at all, but I think is good. He's got a cape and his belt buckle. I think he looks pretty good. Although I'm also going to show some extra things that could have been included for him here in a minute as well. Let me show you the build. So you've got this hallway, basically, as depicted in The Mandalorian Season 2. Oops. We're going to leave that in there. I like to shoot in one take. So you have this hallway, as depicted in The Mandalorian Season 2. It has this elevator, which can open. So you can put Luke Skywalker into there, actually. This will not work if his lightsaber is exposed, but I think it will work with the non-bladed version. Yes, and he appears, much to the chagrin of the Dark Troopers, who are about to be mowed down in quick succession. I mentioned I thought this suit could have a different... This set... Suit? Ha! Huh. I thought the set could have a different name, and I might have called it Luke Skywalker Assault, or Dark Trooper Demise, as if you've seen in the show, they don't last very long against the power of a true Jedi. So one feature here, besides opening the door, you can use this here to cut down your enemy, so oh, he's not close enough though. Ah. We're going to try this again again. I'm going for one take, but I'm failing spectacularly. I don't even care. There you go. He slaughtered him like an animal, even though he's a robot, so not really. Another feature here is... Once he takes over that position that the Dark Trooper previously held, he can use a force pull or push, depending on how you want to think of it. Either way would work. If he pulls him in, though, he can then use this to... Oh, Luke's been shot. That didn't happen in the real thing. No, instead... Cuts him down to size, like so. Anyway... I find that this entire set is really about the minifigures. You can see a shot of the full hallway there. It's not bad. It's also not much. It is what it is. It's got the little play features we showed you. The monkey has nothing to do with this set. I wanted to show you a few other things I thought could have been included but were not. One, this is from the episode The Rescue. So if you were to include the final moments of this, perhaps Luke would have been depicted with a young Grogu, like so, as he goes to train the child. Also, I wanted to show that if Luke had been given a hairpiece, and actually first I'd like to show a lot of people really don't like this hood. Like I said, I... I think it's fine. I think it goes nicely. It flows into the robes. 
but the classic hood piece that they used to use. I think that looks good too, but the thing I never liked about this one is how far it sticks out into the front. I always thought that looked awkward, and I think that might have been why they changed it, to make it look more like it was part of one robe instead of a separate thing. Lastly, the part I really thought they should have included was a hairpiece for the Mark Hamill style Luke which the closest one I could find that I had was that one right there. And I think that seems good. I think that looks right. And if you had seen The Mandalorian Season 2, you would have seen a CGI Mark Hamill looking much like that. Also with that guy. Also with an R2-D2 that is not included here. And I did not bring up for this review. So... My older son said to let you know that he gave it a four and a half out of five star rating for this set. I would I would give the minifigures of this set a five. However, this set costs thirty dollars. I don't know if I mentioned that. And that seems like you're paying for a battle pack and they just kind of made a hallway build big enough to throw in and charge thirty dollars. I give it four out of five, but the mini figures again are a solid five. Luke Skywalker, one of the greatest heroes of all time, included here finally in his newest form seen in the TV or movie universe. And uh, there you have it. Uh, there were a lot of errors in this video, but I hope you just thought they were funny. Like I said, we like to shoot in one take. I will bid you good day.